the 5.1 update is finally released, which means Xylonin and Chiori banners are live on all servers. So share your pulling results in the comments. In this video, let's count how many free pulls you can get in the first phase for Xylonin and Chiori, or how many you can save for Nahida and Hu Tao. If you want to save up to 20% on Xylonin banner, visit lootbar.gg. I will buy the 6,480 Genesis Crystals pack for $82, which costs $100 in the game. All I need to do is enter my UID and choose a server. Since every top-up goes through Genshin top-up channels, I received the double amount of Genesis Crystals for my first purchase and saved $18 on top of that. Lootbar has more than 4,000 five-star reviews. I used Lootbar to send dozens of welkins from my giveaways, so I can personally recommend it. Use my link in the description to get an additional 5% discount. Today, we received 600 Primo Gems as server maintenance compensation, which you can claim right away in your in-game mail. The Zalonin and Chiori banners will run from October 9th to the 29th. Over 21 days of daily commissions, you'll get 1,260 Primo Gems. There's no new area in this update, so you won't be able to farm many extra gems. However, there are additional rewards for map exploration in 5.0. If you've explored the map over 80% and completed the Archon Quest in 5.0, you'll get 400 Primo Gems. The rewards will vary depending on your progress, so let's assume a basic reward of 100 Primo Gems. The new Archon Quest will give us 910 Primo Gems, and Zilonin's Story Quest provides another 60. The main event of this update is the Subzerus Festival, where we'll receive 1,000 Primo Gems and a free Candice, while another side event will grant 420 Primo Gems. Clearing the Abyss can net you 800 Primo Gems, but I estimate 600 as a more realistic amount. Test runs for Zilonin and Kiori offer 40 Primo Gems, and the daily check-in on Hoyo Lab gives another 40. Events and surprise promo codes should add around 100 more Primo Gems. So how many free pulls can you get as an F2P player? In total, you can collect 5,130 Primo Gems, which equals about 32 free pulls. With the Welkin Moon, this can increase to 43 wishes. As an F2P player, 32 pulls might seem a bit low, but that's due to 5.1 not having a new map. However, you can gain an additional 400 Primo Gems if you've fully explored the new map in 5.0. I didn't include this in the final count because not everyone may have done it. If you've explored the current map over 80%, you can add around 2.5 more pulls to your total. Maybe you're interested in Nahida or Hu Tao's banner, or perhaps you're saving for the next version. Let's quickly summarize how many free pulls you can get if you complete everything in the first phase, the second half, and the entire 5.1 update. Throughout all of 5.1, you can get around 70 pulls. By completing everything in the first phase, you'll earn 35 free pulls, leaving the same amount of 35 free pulls in the second phase. The new characters for 5.2 have already been announced, Chaska and Auroron, just as insiders predicted. We already have a lot of details about their kits, and I think we might see their gameplay today. If not, then it's going to be tomorrow. There's also an update that completely changes the banners for 5.2, but that's a topic for another video. Share your pulling results, and let me know who you're saving for in the comments. And if you want to save up to 20% on Genesis Crystals, visit lootbar.gg. All you need is your UID and server. The link is in the description.